pretty clear through those first five rounds. Crawford studied up and now knows every single thing he has to do. And Errol Spence just a few months ago took down your Dennis Ugas via knockout and is out looking for a new opponent to fight against. Word on the street is that Errol may be fighting Terence Crawford. Let's look further into that. Although no fight has been officially fixed, Terence Crawford has stated that this fight is still trying to be put together sometime late on during this year. It's important to note that Crawford has one belt while Spence is three. Terence also is one who likes to fight in matches that garners him a fat paycheck. That man is the best in the world! Which Errol, on the other hand, isn't. While looking into all these factors, we're still skeptical about this match happening. But since Terence has been so optimistic about this match happening, let's take a quick look at both Errol's and Terence's past professional careers. For starters, let's take a quick look at Terence's past fights. Andre George's big shot finished the fight. Terence Crawford knocks him out in the fifth round after winning every single round of the fight. Let's take a look at the last match that he fought, which was against Sean Porter. The match was quite an eventful one, which included Crawford switching between a variety of punches, with both the fighters alternating between orthodox and southpaw stances. In the tenth round of this match, Crawford threw in a straight left hand at his opponent that sent him straight to the canvas. Porter managed to get back up only to be knocked down yet again. The towel was thrown in by the referee, and Terrence won the match via tenth round TKO. For any fighter to take, especially this leg in the fight, here we see a half step back. Boom, that's a signature shot that Terrence lands. He missed that, but he came back with the right hook and it landed flush. Down goes Sean Porter, and I think Kenny Porter. Prior to this match, Terrence went up against Kell Brook. Kell Brook did quite well in the ring during the first three rounds. Proof of this fact was his scorecards, where two of the three judges had given him more points than his opponents. In the fourth round of this match, Terrence threw in a solid right hook while in southpaw stance, due to which Brook fell on the ropes. The only thing keeping Brooke and his feet were the ropes. Crawford then decided to finish off the match fair and square, due to which he pulled out a flurry of punches, ending his opponent in the process. The referee intervened, and Terrence won this match by a fourth-round knockout. As you can see, Kel Brook was moving forward. He shot a jab out there. Crawford timed it over the top with a nice, short, I would say jab, hook, jab, That's hook type. Terence is clearly one of the world's best pound-for-pound -pound top boxers of this match, and his match against Amir Khan is a great example that can be used to demonstrate this fact. In the first round of this match, Khan managed to throw in a few jabs, following which Crawford dropped Khan to the canvas with a counter of his own. In the second round of this match, Khan goes on the defense, not giving Crawford any major openings or opportunities to throw in punches of his own. Khan then throws in a lead left hook, which Crawford endured well. Things start to heat up in the third round when Khan inaugurates the round with a sharp right hand. Khan seems to be the more active boxer in the ring, but Terence was only being patient before he unleashed his inner beast. Crawford was in his element from round four when he threw in a counter right hand that hurts his opponent. Crawford then proceeded to hurt in plenty of shots to Khan's ribs, injuring him pretty badly in the process. Round five saw Crawford performing in the same elite way. Terence threw in a left hand and followed that up with an uppercut. He then switched to a southpaw stance, following which he landed a big left hand. Khan was finding it harder and harder to endure such big punches. In the sixth round of this match, Crawford struck Khan below his belt, but the referee waved it off. This low blow ended the fight and won Terence a six-round victory via a TKO. Yeah, clearly it was a low blow. Ooh. That was beyond low. Ugh. I would take that five minutes. Terence is an undisputed champion and has fought a total of 38 matches, 29 of which he won via knockout. But Errol too is an undisputed champion who has fought a total of 28 matches and has won 22 of them via knockout. By those numbers, it's pretty evident that Terence has fought more matches than Errol. Many may believe that his lack of experience may lead to his own downfall in this match. But that wouldn't be a fair way of determining one's talent. So to make it fair, let's take a look at Errol's past matches. Errol's most recent match was against Gerdenis Ugas. In the sixth round of this match, Ugas threw in a solid uppercut that hurt Spence, but Spence responded back with counter punches of his own that were aimed at Ugas' body and eye. In the ninth round, Ugas threw in another right hand followed by a left to Spence's body. This got Ugas a warning from the referee. In the tenth round of this match, Spence threw in a solid right hand at Ugas which left him in excruciating pain. The ringside physician had to get involved and it was pretty evident 
that Uga's right eye had endured some massive damage. Uga's could not fight anymore, and according to many, this was one of Spence's best fights of his career. We had mentioned earlier that Terrence Crawford had fought Sean Porter not so long ago. Well, two years prior to their match, Errol went up against Sean Porter too. In this match, Porter was pretty good with his punches and boxing skills. This left Errol in a slightly intimidated state. But Errol decided to get back in the game and unleashed a flurry of body shots that garnered him quite a few points on the scorecards. In the 11th round of this match, Errol threw in a short left hook on his opponent's chin that left him in a buzz state. Due to him being in this state, he touched his gloves on the canvas of the ring. The referees waved this off and the match went on. You're not expecting him at that moment. All you're expecting is throwing your punch. Boom! That was a beautiful short left hand. But while Sean was starting to throw that left hook, he dropped it. But in the 12th round, Errol threw in quite a few power shots as well as lethal combination punches that left Sean in a battered state. This match was such a good one, especially in the final round and Spence won the match via split decision. Another great fight that Errol was a part of was his fight against Mikey Garcia. The match involved quite a few intense rounds and there were plenty of power shots exchanged between the two boxers. Errol made plenty of use of his jab in this match and the various combination punches that he hurled at Garcia's head and body were immaculate. Furthermore, Errol's footwork in this match was quite noteworthy as it helped him throw quite a few heavy shots. Errol dominated the first few rounds and then pulled off a strategy that scored him quite a large number of points. His strategy included throwing in straight left hands and he alternated that with sharp and solid hooks. Garcia tried to throw in a few jabs, but none of them seemed to connect. Spence is, is really, really starting to put a lot of leather on Danny Garcia. That was a good body shot as he exited. You can see that eye. That the best part of this match was when Errol threw in a two-punch combination at his opponent which sent the crowds into immediate cheers. Apart from taking his opponent down slowly, Errol also knows how to take down his opponent quickly. For that, let's take a look at a match in which Errol won via first round knockout. Errol was in action right from the time the bell was sounded. Just a few moments before the bell to end the round was sounded, Errol threw in a solid left hook at Ocampo's body. Ocampo could not handle the brutality of the punch and collapsed to the canvas in a battered state. And here is how the fight ended. As you see Spence, saw that the left, boom, there's the right. The paralyzing shot immediately Ocampo hit the canvas. Ocampo could not make it back up and could not beat the countdown either. He needed the aid of the cornermen as well as physicians to help him figure out what had just happened to him while tending to his wounds. So yes, both Terrence and Errol are quite lethal. Only the fight day will determine who is the better boxer of the two. So do you guys think that Errol will pull off his famous combination punches and win the bout against Terence Crawford? Or do you think Terence will surprise the crowd with moves of his own? Are you Team Terence or Team Errol? Let's know your answers in the comments section under this video. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Make sure you subscribe to the home of boxing. See you very soon.